Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Fadali and this video is about the stored procedure in MySQL. So, first of all, I have to define that what is a stored procedure, okay? A stored procedure is a prepared SQL code that you can save and then use that code again and again. Alright, so okay, what is the need of the stored procedure? Okay, sometimes we use the statements again and again in our, you know, the SQL. It would be the better idea to put that code into the stored procedure just to save the time and amount of the code you would be writing. Okay, to understand stored procedure, you have to understand one term that is the delimiter. Okay, what is the delimiter? It separates the statements and execute the each statement separately. Okay, so what is the default delimiter in our MySQL? We have the semicolon that separates the statement and execute them separately. But in a stored procedure, what do we want here? That we want to execute that procedure as a single statement. So for the temporary time, we, you know, change the delimiter from the default which is the semicolon to any other character which you want all right so okay first of all you have to change the default delimiter to the any character whichever you want I just wanted to use these characters okay so you can change it you can also use the dollar character or anything else whatever you want here okay after that what you need to do here uh, you will use the semicolon in the body of the store procedure okay uh, you have to declare this thing in the start which I will be showing you in the syntax okay you have to declare is first but in the body of the stored procedure you have to use the semicolon and whenever you are ending your stored procedure you have to end it with that delimiter okay and in the end after you want to change the delimiter to the semicolon all you need to do is to write the keyword delimiter and then you have to write the semicolon which I will be showing you in the syntax okay in the next slide you will be looking at the syntax of the stored procedure okay now you can see the syntax of stored procedure first you have to declare the delimiter uh, whichever character you want it could be the dollar and the uh, division sign which i have used previously now you have to write the create procedure then you have to give a name to your stored procedure then you have to write the parenthesis in parenthesis you have to put the parameter if you want to give a parameter but if you don't want to give a parameter you can leave this as an empty space okay after that you have to write the begin keyword then the statement whichever you want to use in the store procedure and the end keyword and after the end keyword you have to write the delimiter that you have provided earlier all right and if you want to change the delimiter to the semicolon again all you need to do is to write the delimiter then use the semicolon and that's it okay after that your delimiter would be the semicolon again all right now without wasting our time let's just go to the code and see how the things work all right okay uh, in order to create the stored procedure, all you need to go is to right click on the stored procedure. Okay, you have to click on the create stored procedure. All right, it will automatically generate the you know the syntax of the procedure. And now you have to give a name to your procedure. Okay, I want to show the name of the countries. Okay, show. And for now, I don't want to give any parameter to it. So I will just leave the parenthesis empty here. After that, you have to write the begin and the, in the end and here you will write your uh, statements. Okay, so I'm just starting out with a simple statement which is select and select name from countries. Alright, you have to write the semicolon here. Okay, so this is how it works. For now, let's just apply this setting. Go for apply and now you can see this all the SQL script of the procedure you will see the delimiter here okay it is using the delimiter and whenever we are finishing our procedure we end it with the given delimiter that we have provided previously here okay so you have to remember that point and after that end if you want to convert the delimiter to the semicolon again all you need to write is delimiter then the semicolon okay so this is the code for changing the delimiter from the dollar sign to its default version which is the semicolon okay but in code whenever you want to write the procedure you don't have to declare the delimiter and these things it will be automatically generated when you click on the apply all you need to start is from here to here and uh, my sql will take care rest of the things all right so go for the apply executing your sql script okay finish now you can see your stored procedure in the stored procedure folder uh, okay now you can use it in any of your sql file okay so, uh, how would we call this thing all you need to do is to use the call keyword and write the name of your stored procedure 
parentheses and it will work fine okay now you can see that we are having all the names from the country table okay so this is how it works if you want to create another procedure you can click on create stored procedure if you want to alter the existing uh, procedure you can do this thing as well and if you want to drop it if you want to delete the stored procedure you can also delete it but for now I just want to alter my stored procedure because I want to give some parameters to my stored procedure okay for the parameters all you need to do is to write the name of your the parameter you want to give pop okay I want to use the integer here uh, integer parameter here for now uh, int and the second one which I could use is the character okay so that would be the continent alright so watcher 60 and this is how you define the parameters of your procedure alright okay I just also want to make some changes in my statement of mysql so I also want to show the population and I also want to show the continent all right I have to give it a condition here that where population be greater than pop so this is the parameter that we are using here okay I also want to give another condition so for giving another condition we have to use the end keyword now I want to give continent is equal to cont okay that's fine all right now all you need to do is to apply again okay it will generate the delimiter and other thing for you all you need to do is to start from the create procedure and uh, begin and end and in between them you have to write the statements and rest of the things and mysql will take care of the rest of the things all right so i have to apply these changes okay i have done the changes into my store procedure now if i just run this thing it will give me the error because now my stored procedure need arguments to work on all right so you can see the error here incorrect number of the argument for the procedure okay so first of all i have to give it number that would be the great number and the continent which i want to show the countries from which continent i want to show would be the europe because i only want to look at the countries of the europe which have the population over than this number okay so let me just run this code and see how the things work here now you can see here that uh, we are only having those countries which have higher value than this provided value. Uh, this would be the 5 million, okay, 5 million population. If I just go for 50 million, you would have the lesser number of the countries. Now I just want to see the countries of Asia and South America. So we have the only single country in the South America which have the population over than 50 million people. Okay, so this is how the procedure works. This is how we create the procedure and this is how we give the number of arguments to our procedure. And this is all for this video. If you really find this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and bye bye.